In this video, I'm gonna show you how to double the frame rate on your Steam Deck with games that support DirectX 12 and DLSS. Basically, we're gonna be installing a mod known as Decky Frame Gen that'll allow us to add FSR 3 and Frame Gen to games that didn't initially support it. So for instance, we've got The Witcher 3 here. I'm using the Steam Deck presets and it doesn't run bad. I mean, I've played through most of the game on the Steam Deck again with these settings, but in some cases it does dip well under 60. But with the Decky Frame Gen mod enabled, we're over 80 FPS on average with this game now. Installation is pretty simple. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. And with the newest version of Decky Frame Gen, you can actually add frame generation to games that didn't initially support frame generation. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Decky Loader and Decky Frame Gen. This is a plugin manager that actually works out really well for a lot of different plugins. If you wanna retheme your whole Steam Deck, you can do it from Decky Loader. So that's another plus to installing something like this, but we're gonna be covering Decky Frame Gen. And if you wanna get this installed on your Steam Deck, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna connect this to my game capture so it's a lot easier to see. So first things first, we need to install Decky, and we're gonna do this from desktop mode. So we're gonna press the Steam button on the Steam Deck, move down to power, switch to desktop, Okay, so now that we're at the desktop, we do need to download a few things. And one quick tip, if you press the Steam button and X at the same time, it's going to bring up your on-screen keyboard. It's just going to make it easier to do it all on the deck. If you haven't set an admin password yet on your Steam Deck, let's go ahead and do that. So from our settings, we're going to find Users, Change Password, and we're going to change our password. Create a password that you're going to remember. Our password is now set. Now we're going to open up a browser and we're going to head over to the Decky Loader GitHub. Links for everything will be in the description. Highly recommend reading through all of this. Lots of great information and there's a ton that we can do with Decky Loader. But we want to download it. We're going to choose this big old colorful download button here. That's going to be located in our downloads folder, but we will need to move that to our desktop in order for it to work. But since we've already got a browser open, let's go ahead and download Decky Frame Gen. So I will admit that I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be coming to the Decky Loader store, but there's an experimental version that I personally have been using. Again, lots of great information, read through this. If we go over to the right-hand side, you can see there's 16 releases. The very top one at the time of making this video is version 9.0. They've reverted some of the experimental settings that I like to use. If you wanna use this, you definitely can, but some of the experimental features have been moved from this version. So we're going to go with version 8. Right down here, we've got the assets, Decky Frame Gen Zip. Now we've got both of these in our downloads folder. Use our file explorer right here, Decky Frame Gen Zip, and our Decky installer. We're going to actually place the Decky installer right on the desktop and move it there. Now we're going to install Decky. Double click or double tap. We want to install. And we set our password. So it's going to ask us for our admin password. Release or pre release. Personally, I've just been going with the release. It's going to download everything, installs really quickly. Install finished. Installer can now be closed. Now that we've got Decky installed, let's move back to gaming mode. Now that we're back in gaming mode, we need to install Decky Frame Gen. Right hand side button with the three little dots. We're gonna move down. You'll see we've got a new section known as Decky. We wanna to go to the little settings cog right here. From general, we're gonna enable developer mode because this is gonna allow us to install that zip. Move down to developer. Install plugin from zip file. We're gonna browse and remember, it's in our downloads folder. Decky frame gen. We're gonna select this. We're gonna install it. Once that's installed, if we press that button with the three little dots again, from Decky, we've got a new section called Decky Frame Gen. We're going to enter this menu and install the Frame Gen mod. The mod is now installed, but keep in mind this is not system wide. We will have to patch individual games from this menu. So select a game to patch. Let's do Hogwarts Legacy. We're going to patch it. You can now select DLSS in the game's menu to use FSR upscaling and frame gen equivalents. So the game's patched. 
We're going to choose the game. And now we want to set up a hotkey so we can enable our OptiScaler menu. It, you can do without this if you want to, but it just gives us more options here. So we're going to choose our controller. Enable back grip buttons. From the L4 button, we're going to map this to the number pad insert key. So we want to choose this. We're going to use R1 to move over to keyboard. And now we want to get the insert key. And this is a little weird. You have to hold over on the analog stick or D-pad to kind of jump over here but we're gonna set it as that insert key. So now, when we're in a game, we can press L4, and it'll bring up the OptiScaler menu. So we've got everything set up. Let's go ahead and start the game. Now that we're in the game, let's go to our settings. And I wanna show you real quick, window mode, 720p, cause I'm plugged into my game capture. Upscale type, before we had FSR2 and FSR1.0. From FSR2, we don't have the option for frame gen, and before we installed the mod, we couldn't even select DLSS. So now we've got DLSS and frame generation. So we're gonna turn that on. Uh, I haven't tested this game yet, so we're gonna leave it at quality. We might have to go down just a bit, but let me get into some gameplay here. Okay, so here we are in game and I am using frame gen right now, low settings, DLSS, I did swap back to performance. If we press the L4 button, we've got a couple options and I've already gone through and changed it to FSR 3X. We've got 2.12, 2.21 and FSR 3X. And with this version of Deki frame gen, we do have the ability to add frame gen to games that didn't originally support frame gen, but there's a little bit of a drawback here. The game has to support DLSS for this to work. So I did try it with like Elden Ring. Unfortunately, since that doesn't support any of the scalers, I couldn't get it working. But we'll press L4. And uh, yeah, I mean, this game actually runs really well like this. I want to show you with and without. So right now, obviously, we are using frame gen. I'm going to go into my menu here. And we're going to disable. Let's just go to FSR2. Remember, no frame gen now. And we'll turn this off. So, oh man, that does look horrible. That's actually pretty crazy. So yeah, we've got FSR2 set to performance. And even on the deck screen, this game just does not look good set at performance. But up in the top left hand corner, we've got our frame rate. You can see, I mean, we're well under 60. Almost getting under 30. We're going to re-enable DLSS or FSR3. NVIDIA DLSS, Frame Gen X2, and NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode automatically gets enabled. But now the game looks so much better and now we're getting over 60 FPS with it. So one thing I actually wanted to do was lock this at 60 just to see if, you know, we could alleviate some of the stutters here and there with this. And to do this, I'm just going to disable my frame limiter from Steam OS. And it definitely feels a bit smoother here. Got some dips under 60. That's kind of a given with the APU we have here. But overall, this is really good. I mean, it definitely looks a lot better than FSR 1 or FSR 2 at performance mode. And we're getting so close to locking this down at 60 FPS. And even if we're just a bit under, it's much more than we're getting even with the lowest settings and no frame generation at all. In my opinion, this is a great little mod if you know what you're getting into, but keep in mind, I mean, when it comes to frame generation, it will introduce a little bit of latency here and there, and some games may be worse than others, so definitely keep that in mind. But it's really easy to install and uninstall, so it's definitely worth a shot. I'll leave links to everything I mentioned in the description below, and I really appreciate you watching. 
I'll keep up to date on this because like I mentioned, I do think that this will be coming to the uh, Decky Loader store. So you can just, you know, basically have a one click install with it. And that way it can be updated pretty easily without having to hit up desktop mode. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. Like always, thanks for watching.